Hi, I'm Dev Nog, CTO of Wavefront by VMware. Now I'll show you how Wavefront allows you to kill false alarms. Let's take a look. We're actually looking at some real customer data here. The request per second to a customer's front end load balancer. You can see on the left side here, we have 170,000 points per second, 200, 250, and so forth. We're looking at the early mornings of a given day from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. all the way through noon, and then to 1, 2 in the afternoon. Now, there are a bunch of distinctive features about this data set. First of all, there's five big spikes in the early morning. You can see them right here that spikes up to 260,000 points per second and so forth. And then down here in the afternoon, you have a very gradual dip that lasts for about an hour. Now, the problem is these five spikes in the early morning are actually artifacts. They're fake data. They don't actually reflect real behavior. This happens all the time. All of our customers have some bad data problems, and you see artifacts like this occasionally. However, the dip at 1 o'clock was actually a real degradation with customers complaining. But because the ops team had had five false alarms in the early morning, they actually ignored the sixth one that was real. This is called alert fatigue. It's very, very common. If you have a bunch of false alarms, you tend not to trust future alarms. How do you solve this problem? The customer's first instinct here was to actually smooth out those spikes to make sure they didn't trigger the alert system. They tried a moving average of 10 minutes. And if you do that, you can see the spikes have been brought down a bit, but they're not gone yet. They would still trigger any kind of alert system. They then tried 30 minutes. The spikes are still there. They look like little boxes now. They tried 60 minutes, and now the spikes are gone. They solved that problem, but the dip has been delayed by 30 minutes. They created a new problem. How do you choose between these two trade-offs? With Wavefront, you don't have to. The right way to handle this data set is actually to do a moving median at 10 minutes. And if I do that, you can see that the spikes are completely gone but the dip has only been delayed by five minutes. There's no such thing as one size fits all for data. Data has infinite dimension. Wavefront gives you all the tools you need to attack data whatever way your problem requires. To try Wavefront out, go to wavefront.com. Click on the Get Started button at the top of that page. We'll give you a one-line install and a portfolio starting dashboards to give you value on day one.